Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game. Today we're playing Mr. Hop's Playhouse 3. Something that started as such a small little singular series, 2D running around, Mr. Hop's chases you, little jump scare here and there, pretty simplistic, but it's been so fun to watch Moonbit grow as a developer and improve the series and take it in interesting new directions. And now we have a fully 3D title, which is super cool. Of course, the first thing it shows me here is like 2D, Oh, no, it isn't even. I I could... This is just, like, the menu. What the heck? That's cool. <laughs> I don't know what, like, all the 1, A, B, and C are. Then there's 0, which is the way I can actually go, and then probably just, like, exit or something. But the, it, it's presented in this interesting way, where it's, like, the familiar 2D textures applied to, like, a more 3D environment and this cool, like, shifting quasi 2D, 3D thing. I defended myself from a monster that took away my home and my parents. My friends would be there for me, but when I told them what happened, they just laughed at me and spread rumors like I was some crazy killer. Right, because number two is a prequel. Out of school. Things have been awful ever since my nana died. I wish she could call me her little gem and tell me everything was going to be okay. Just one more time. I, it's a fun way to then use the 2D animation for the sake of like a cutscene and still have that be a part of the game while taking things in this totally new direction. Like, this is so exciting. To, it, it makes me think of, you know, when a game like Mario or Earthworm Jim or something in the era of, like, the N64 PlayStation IPs, oop, IPs are uh, trying new things. My only friend in the world. And, and embracing the, like, advancing technology and, and such. And so this is this is uh, neat. Oh, I, I can fully control the camera as well. For some reason, I just like auto assumed it would be a fixed camera style game. I want to see all the. I like. I like the lore and the especially the Easter eggs and things that get stashed in this series. So I, I do like to really look around and try to try to see what sort of things are hidden. They end up with a lot of weird interactions that are like, turn this lamp on and off six times. Then you end up finding something, a little, a little bunny rabbit of sorts that freaks me out a little. Just, you know, tying into the whole Mr. Hops of it all. The doors are very like flush with the environment. It's kind of funny to see how they're, that, that one's receded in a little bit. There we go. That feels properly like a bathroom. I was anticipating a kitchen. Interact with the ducks 700 times and you find a juicy secret. I have to try, but it, it seems as though it is, is nothing as you might expect. I don't know if I'm flushing the toilet or, or using the sink. Because flushing the toilet is a thing in Undertale, in Deltarune, if you flush the toilet like six times or something, then Toriel gets like upset with you. And so I do feel like a weird need to really push it here and play around with the toilet. Or maybe it's just because it's fun, riveting gameplay to just flush that over and over. All right, I'm moving on. The, any secrets to be found are probably going to come afterward. I, I just want to check the photos on the wall to see if any of them are like hints. Oh, okay, so it, it's a flat door when it doesn't go anywhere. The ones that have receded are the ones you can actually interact with. Because of the, the new 3D perspective, you kind of have to, like, enter a room slowly. And, like, peek around a corner. And so there's a little bit of a freaky moment where you don't really know. What am I trying to shove there? Am I shoving the stool? Yeah, but y you have to actually, like, move the camera and peek around the quarters. There's a nervous half second there where you're like, oh, God, I don't even actually know what I'm walking into. Mm. But the, the transition to a different environment like that is still handled the same. I think it's for pushing the stool, and then that stool just isn't the type of stool that can be pushed. Just s sniffing pot of flowers on the way by. Flowerless flowers, the best kind, right at the prime of their life. I'm waiting to just get attacked, and then that'll just immediately kick off the next phase of things. 
Wait, are these big double doors the kitchen, not the front doors of the house? Because that would confuse me. Was I supposed to just get water from the sink? I feel like I was told to go get water from the kitchen, but I... Did I in, just assume that part? No, oh, oh, I saw I saw him looking through the window there. I didn't like that. <laughs> that actually, I think that works better in 3D because, like, you can have it so that you just barely catch it out, out of the side of your eye instead of, like... You know, when it's 2D, they kind of, if you want to see it, it kind of has to be on the screen. It has to be in front of you. Uh, so it, it opens up some interesting possibilities there. Just drink the toilet water and go back to bed. It'll be better for everyone. Drink the waterfall. Just start bending reality. Admit that you're asleep now. Oh, this is a usable door. But it wasn't receded in the same way, so I kind of wigged myself out. Candle. To collect, which is... Oh, no, God. I, hate the dark. I was going to say, is a reference to old Moonbit titles. I, I think it might have even been a part of one of the Hops games, but there was also, like, Cold Call. Ruby, pizza in fridge. I will be home late. Aunt Debbie. Well, let's go rip us some pizza, then. Oh, that's so disappointing. I can hear, like, a little doll somewhere, I think. It's interesting, because I'm pretty sure it's, like, familiar. Oh, now there's, like, a, a CRT, like, scan lines. Yeah, like, dolls moving around and stuff. Very familiar to the series. Oh, God. Are you still surprised? Ah, even the little sound effect for, like, go back to bed is, is still the same. I like that that stuff's been kept consistent. Are, did you just make that sound, like, in my inventory? Or where, where'd you go, little doll? I don't like that you're talking to me from just my, like, hip. Or from within my hand or whatever's going on there. Mm-mm. -mm. I've mashed every button. As far as I can tell, there's no run of any kind. Oh, don't... Don't point the camera at me like that and force me to have to, like, spin around. <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on that window. Nothing this time. Alright, that was just a one-time freak out. I know it said to go back to bed, but I just gotta, you know, you gotta see if things change. The, the series likes to mess with you, and it likes to bury secrets. Just scoping it out. Well, this will go poorly, I'm certain. Open the door. D Dad? Open the door, Ruby. I don't really want to. Can we please just close the door again? Back to bed. Back to bed. Nope. You heard nothing. Oh, was it in the closet? No. Back to bed. Forget all of that. Your dad is fine. Except for the part where I think your whole family was murdered. But, you know, otherwise fine. Most. Mostly. Duh. Sometimes the way the camera hugs in, like, the wall gets in the way a little bit. Like, you know, kind of bumps into things and it pushes it around. And I have, like, a little freak out moment where I'm like, no, 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 I'm trying to see. I need to see around that corner. Don't take that away from me. Are we, we, uh, we're just fully back out and about, are we? We're not, we're, we've given up on bed. It's just your dead father. Why are you so interested? Oh, my God. Give yourself to us. Oh. I genuinely, I love, I'm, I'm never sick of when games start pulling on PT influences. I don't know if that's necessarily where this is going, but, like, I feel it a little bit. You're suddenly in a different space. It's a little bit corrupted. All right, maybe it's not going to do the literal looping of PT. This is it. This is the secret. I'm picturing, like, GoldenEye 007, like, the, the fake wall is going to be right there. <laughs> but I'm curious. I'm curious to how these halls are going to start looping around. That little ghost seemed new. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, 
That's good use of the 3D. I'm into it. Oh, shit. I guess that was uh, death, though. Unless that's that's the start. Yeah, that's the, where things start from. I'm fairly certain Moonbit has stated that this is intended to be the finale for the series, or at least, like, a stopping point for the time being. Three games, plus the manor escape, plus the, like, Five Nights at Freddy's, like, free little demo that they did. It's like five Mr. Hops games in a couple of years, so I can understand wanting to take some time away. And this is a really cool place to leave it. Oh yeah, we totally, we did have to go to this like hell world in the prequel. It's been a while, so I'm not gonna remember how all the mechanics work, but yet dodging the spikes and the torches and stuff, that's really, really cool actually to see that be recreated in the 3D environment. Of much larger, more powerful stones can be found all throughout this domain. A testament to the Dark Lord's riches. A sliver of the Six's energy surges through them. Six has been like very significant, the collecting of the medallions. That was straight up English. You seemed to hear it and comprehend it quite readily. But, you know, you could go, go off and make it sound worse than it was. Try to freak me out. I don't even think that was a medallion. I think that was just a coin. Mr. Stripes is the tiger, yes? Oh, no. It did not take long to start getting spun around a little bit in this domain. Good word for it. Makes it sound quite freaky. Oh, full-on collect-a-thon. I, oh, my spatial ability to remember things is about to be quite challenged. All right, we got Mr. Stripes and Mr. Hops, I believe that was for the two. I don't remember the panda's name. That's the one that's not sticking out with, for me right now. So just to confirm, one, two, yep, 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 yep. But, alright, you use the torch colors to try and guide me a little bit. Behind the yellow is where I get to the main doorway. Okay, maybe this isn't as complex as it first seemed. I'll try and gather up all these goodies. It's funny, you don't have to include, like, jumping in things like the previous games did when you can just kind of walk directly around. Ooh, I missed one. Come on there, Crash. Ah, 23. It's a freaky number in its own right. And it, the way it jingled, I just am very much assuming that that was everything. What the heck is the panda? Was she just like Mrs. Panda or something? Or, b patches? or It was another cutesy, simple name. Hmm. I really thought that would drop sooner. <laughs> okay. I, there was a one singular yellow torch here, but I don't think it was really pointing me towards where the other yellow torches are. Now I'm a, I, now I'm spun around and a little bit just hopeful that I would stumble a, across a secret or something. Dang it! No, instead that just uh, that went that went well. Feel pretty good about that. This hallway feels familiar to the old games, like I'm in the old prequel manor. I think potentially. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where we just ended up. So is Esther, where where she grew up, our grandmother? Is that what that ended up being? I I did like the secret hunting videos, and then the process of doing that was spending like an extra amount of, I saw that eye in the wall there, spending that extra amount of time in the game familiarized me with the contents of the game. But I never uh, committed an extended period of time to, like, mapping out the lore. Maybe that would be a fun thing to do after covering this one. I think I'm going to have a notably more difficult time keeping track of things, of where I've been. It's so easy in, in 2D. Ooh, don't forget that one. I must be nearing a point of getting stalked. Like, that's got to be coming up soon. The Blacklands Manor. That's the, the name we are looking for. 
Yeah, you probably heard about it from your dear old grandmother. This is a little bit of a labyrinth. Oh no, I uh, wish I hadn't taken this elevator. Let's go back up if it'll let us hopefully back up I don't want to go further down I don't even know if that was down or up uh, but I, I want to kind of like try to explore this a little more thoroughly before I start introducing new areas to go to oh god it's own separate there's elevators on either side there that seems to indicate quite a large area she can never know the truth. That's a hell of a messy handwriting that it took that much written script to communicate that one sentence. I assume we are the she <laughs> in, in that scenario. Okay, I that's, that's not the first time I've like accidentally crouched, so I was just trying to figure it out. So I'm guessing I'll be able to like hide behind furniture and things. Hide behind... This giant pony, try and ride it, perhaps? Seemingly not an option. Such a shame. Could have galloped on to freedom. Okay, th this was this was pretty straight from the, the opening area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think there's anything to worry about there. These, the curtains are strange. They wig me out a little bit. I'm pretty sure they were in the original game. But I, like, don't know what to make of them. Now, now we just gotta make sure we've hit up all the doors. Okay, maybe this individual floor is not as deep and complicated as I was worried it would be. Yeah, not that crazy. Kind of just like one big ring. Ah, uh, not a not a straight, consistent ring, mind you. <laughs> okay, it's not. It might not be a ring at all. No, it does link back up. There we are. That's where I want to be. I guess. I guess we take the elevator. Things felt safe there. There wasn't that much uh, tense music. Wasn't encountering any monsters. Now you go to the next area. You don't know what's going to be waiting for you. What the hell is this? If I hide and then try and just run around him? <laughs> hide. <laughs> that was not a good hiding. But what the hell is that thing? Is it going to keep chasing me? I, like, can't close doors. Do I have to constantly be making sure he's not going to, like, walk by and see me and come after me? Uh... Just squat, squat her down, Ruby. I found a key. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna cheese it straight across. Whoa. Oh god, oh god, and there's spikes on the ground and things. This is, again, again, I don't, I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the next area. Oh, I feel like there was more exploring to be done out over there. I have to come back to it. That was a, that was a cool monster. I mean, in general. Oh, I wasn't expecting there to be spikes again. So close together. Terrible planning. Who designed this manor? Yeah, I guess that'll be if I do like a secrets video. I can come back and do some exploring. What the shit? Can I just like? Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> the game never introduced that mechanic, so it's just kind of good that I figured it out. Have a have a rest, a sit down. Yeah, in general, I think the 3D art is really well done. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if this is totally new for Moonbit. What level of 3D experience they had previously? But I, I would say it works quite well here. I'm really glad that like that era of aesthetic is being really embraced because it opens up so many possibilities for for indie developers okay um this seems like the sort of thing that i probably want to make note of i've been playing with the controller and i just came to realize that like playing with the mouse is an option i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with it for now i think i normally i do prefer to use like mouse and keyboard but 
I think the camera seems a little easier to control almost with the, the joystick. I think it has a good feel to it, so I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, look at that. The solution is quite immediate. I, I thought I would have to hold that in mind for a longer period of time. So this, this seems quite doable. <laughs> Come on, just... Oh god, that's not what I'm trying to do. Just push it normally. <laughs> there we go. Number one. Easy. <laughs> well, it should have been easy. I sure did make it harder than it needed to be. Alright, now the weird looking N. Straight across. By process of elimination, I didn't actually confirm. Nope, I don't mean to be pushing it diagonally like that. Oh, you stop it, you. Or at least push it diagonally and accurately. I'm trying to achieve something very particular here. <laughs> I'm about to end up pushing it to the wrong thing. Come on, get the angle right. What are you doing, Ruby? <laughs> it's her fault, not mine. Oh, cool. It's done so that it ends in a way where you're facing the wall that will lift. That's, like, simple and clever. I saw you just barely anticipate. The Dark Lord corrupts and feasts upon the souls of the living. Is Mr. Hobbs the Dark Lord? as the guardian of hope, now resides within the shadows of despair. Malevolent, spiteful, and fierce. I knew those were there. I still just bashed straight into it. The color of torches might matter, but there's nothing super recognizable. That poor girl is tied up. I need to help her. And that is like that is definitely Esther, which I think I saw in like previews for the game. Oh, I got so smushed. Oh, <laughs> get back up! <laughs> oh no, dead. Um. So, to, like, some extent, I knew that was coming in the game, but, like, it still is kind of, like, crazy to, to see. I, I'm curious how they'll tie all that together. I'm really, really disappointed that I'm left redoing this because it kind of is a little bit janky. Like, come on, just push it straight. Just, I'm, I'm on one direction. What? Did it even, did it, like, change the pattern on me, too, so I have to go, like, double-check that? Either that or I'm dumb and I just screwed something up there, but... Oh, it did change it on me! Alright, well, I'm not writing it twice. X, diamond, N, pitchfork. <laughs> I wonder I wonder what things people would use to describe those internally for themselves. So it must always end on pitchfork. Like, that is probably a set rule then. Because it makes sense to randomize things so people can't cheat, but it's like, okay, but I kind of just want to, like, just let me do it. Yeah, that's... It started with X, didn't it? Come on, you stupid slidey block. Just go where I want. Oh, the door is already... I, I don't need to redo the puzzle. It's funny, the puzzle re-randomized. Damn it. <laughs> I knew those were somewhere near. I re-randomized, but I didn't actually have to redo it, which is kind of funny. So instead, we'll just barrel forward and try and save our dear old Nan. There you go. Just push into it so you can run through without having to actually get the timing right. Luckily, it's safe to do it that way. I like that the loading thing is the three little circles that we now have used for the sake of a puzzle to associate with Mr. Hops, Mr. Stripes, and Mrs. Panda. <laughs> oh, wait. You need to be brought water. You need to be brought a bowl that can be filled with water. Oh, there's, like, ink leaking from the the roof or something. Yeah, this is like a re recreating a puzzle from a previous game, I think. Oh, look at that. Just going straight through the wall. Um... The hourglass and then the water? Like, are you telling me the order I need to bring them to you in? I'm going to poke my head beyond a little bit to see what's out here. What did I just do? <laughs> Why is there giant trolls and things? Oh my god, he's really cool. 
I really, really dig his design. Was not expecting anything other than, you know, like Mr. Hobson and so on. Take the urn, take it to the thing, fill it up, outrun the monster. I genuinely don't know if there's meant to be like an order or what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just trying things. Is it done? Do I take it? Put it back, put it back, put it back. Oh god, that's not working either. Mm, maybe that order doesn't make any sense. This thing's cool. It's a cool monster. It looks like it belongs in like some combination of Warcraft 3 and Dia Diablo or something. It's like a little bit like an overlord, but it's a, the, the 3D feels a little bit more like Warcrafty. It's a cool design. I like it. I just don't understand what I need to do. The, it's pointing at the hourglass one, so I feel like that must be... Oh, okay. Uh, um, so I did just have to wait. I did it. I, I jumped the gun a little bit by, like, aborting that. Okay. Water next. Ah, the first one was filled with urine. I don't actually know. I don't know why it was yellow. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Let me just keep juking you in circles here. I don't think I have a roll or anything like that that I can really use to my advantage. Ooh, that was a quick scoop. You'll never defeat me. I'm a hot swapping urn managing master. That one, that one seems like it's getting full of blood, actually. So it, it might, it might actually be like, you know, the three humors or like bodily essences or or something like that. I humors is like I think we thought we had more humors than three back when that was how fluids were measured. Oh God. There was bile and things were considered their own. Now I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. The th oh, I missed I missed the floor opening and him getting dunked. I thought it would be fun to see what would happen. I should have assumed death. Oh, this is what I, I, I've done to myself, is it? Well, whoops, I'll redo that. And this time I'll watch the big ogre die because that'll be fun and interesting. And I'll also do a better job of not getting bashed up. Oh my god, he has the heads of each of the monsters on his belt. Mr. Hops on up front, the tiger, the panda on the left and the right there. I didn't even notice that. That's really cool. I'm guessing those monsters are still a part of this game. It's not like this guy killed him and they're never to be seen again. That's just like a, a neat detail to tie it all together. He, I, I, yeah, they're like shrunken heads, but maybe they're just like... Worship, like not not the literal actual heads. I like the jiggle in his belly when he rolls around. That's probably what makes me think of uh, Warcraft Three more than anything is the big ogre creeps that you could fight. And they had a, they had a jiggly belly and a big club they would wail on you with. I'm still managing to get clubbed nearly half to death. I can't think of who does club to death the song from the Matrix. <laughs> I wanted to tie that in, but I, I, I lost it. Uh, yeah, but uh, not that great. I thought I could just super easily, continually outrun things and be fine. Oh, look at that big old dunk. Dunked into the slime. 90s TV'd that, that monster up real good. This seems bad. Oh, I, I can interact with them. I like the sound on that. Crunchy and slimy and just kind of weird. What did that change? Is that... Is, is that do I just need to go back? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm undoing what was holding her. Thank you. Ruby? How do you know my name? Ruby, it's me. I'm... Run, Ruby! Oh. oh, look at him. Look at him go. Okay, I, I should probably mostly follow her lead. Oh, the spikes aren't going in and out, so I can, I can just see where they are and more readily avoid. 
Oh god. <laughs> the little, the kids like xylophone toy thing still being Mr. Hop's theme song is appreciated to keep that in. Oh, uh, the turning around was a mistake because now here and there I'm seeing Mr. Hops' hands like pop into frame. <laughs> that was cool. Cool sequence. Well done, Ruby. You really are my little gem. <laughs> Don't Nana? say things like that. It. It's so good to see you again, dear. Well, that's sweet. I suppose the reunion is very nice. <laughs> I'm Ruby, happy for them. Mr. Hop, he found me. He took Mum and Dad away too. Oh no, this is all my fault. Nana, you used to live here, right? Don't you know a way out? It's different to how I remember. Let's keep moving. Play up the idea that it's like this mysterious haunted area, some randomization, things like that going on. That's all cool. I think I'm going to play this as like a series rather than all in one sitting because I don't really know how long the game is going to be. So that seems as good a place as any. Fit in a couple puzzles, puzzles, different areas, introduce some variety of villains. Mr. Hops is back. Both Esther and Ruby are in this game. There's just like a, a lot to like about it. It's been very, very cool to see such a simplistic starting project turn into like a pretty full-fledged franchise. And, like, it, this is just very exciting and it's cool to see. Very much respect it and love to see it. Link down below. You can go pick up a copy for yourself. It is out now. And I think Moonbit is absolutely worth supporting. So, please do check that out. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.